Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. Against my better judgment, we are back on the Phase 4 map on the public test server. Um, I hate to start something and not finish in it. So we're going to take another crack at those jobs. Um, but one thing I said I would do is show you the hard mode, or at least the explanation. I'm not going to play it in hard mode. But on the right side of the screen, it explains what hard mode is and you have to select new game and then either new campaign hard mode or custom scenario it used to be just new campaign custom scenario they've added the hard mode obviously so that's been up long enough for you to read it. Escape out of that. Go to continue. Erska River in the Amur Russian Federation. Now we just wait for the loading screen. which is going to take a while. <clears throat> hmm. A little down the wrong pipe, just a touch. <clears throat> Mute my mic for a second. And here we are, where we left off. We've got this job we could do. It's a long haul. Probably take half the episode. Um, but I'd like to concentrate on... Um, That's not access to location, so landslide near the tunnel. Well, that's the one that gives access to the gateway. That's not what I want right now either. To deliver that stuff to the gateway, I need to do bridge to the warehouse, landslide on the path, and bridge to the sawmill. The landslide on the path is two wooden planks and one vehicle spare part. If this bridge was there, I could easily take that stuff over there. 
but to fix either of these bridges I have to take metal up where the hell is it it's not that there's another plant up here there it is barefoot where, where barefoot cobbler is um, that's the crafting location so I'd have to get down the hill and up onto this road and then take this little one across the ice it's the only mark place to cross the ice but how do I do that I was thinking about bringing up another truck that might work better Do I have another? Yes, I do. I have another Kraz in here. Deploy. Whoops. I meant to customize. put these wheels on it and oops this saddle high the other one is broken you'll get out there to put a trailer on it and it'll say that you have to equip a saddle high and uh, if I want to use an unspillable, I can't put the crane on, on it. I think I'm just going to grab an M747. Even though I might have to make two trips. Okay, that one's ready. Whoops. Customization on this one's going to take a little bit longer. I don't want the other one. I have the Tune Custom Invincible. I want to be able to, I want to get this a little lower. To pull a trailer. Maybe just the raised. Actually, I wasn't going to pull a trailer. I was going to set it up with a four spot. 
So I probably could do the tune custom, but I think that's a little, little way up there in the air. No. No. I'm looking for the 91 inch. Got that one, or that one, or that one. Well, that's not a 91. So be this one, or this one. I think it's the, the big balloons are what I'm using on the other truck. Excellent in every category. It just makes it a little massively wide. The battery powered. Twin front facing gaugeable all-wheel drive and then frame add-ons I want the flat bed times four or the sideboard but that doesn't have any points so to get the points we'll go with the flat bed and I believe I could still put a saddle on it. No, that eliminates the flatbed. So, um, LC38 loading crane. Okay, crane and a flatbed that carries four points. Four spots. Light exhaust. Factory with factory beacons. Now there it's got the factory beacons and the other stock stuff, which gives you the horns. Otherwise, there's no horns. Just get rid of the heavy pipe. Do the extra front fender. Paint it something. Hey, I like that. And screw the other customization. Turn on the controller. I want to take this one up there and I want to take up the Kraz I want to come down to the ice crossover go up past cargo cult Or stay on the lake shore, you know, whatever, but cross over here and then go up there. 
instead of getting down on the ice here and trying to find a way up through here, which I did yesterday, had to tow my way to the top and that was a mess. Those narrow gaps you can cross. And then coming back, have to do the same thing in reverse, but go this way and get on this road and fix landslide on the path and then go on up the road to the steel place and maybe come back across here or work my way th through these little roads get back down here and come here and fix this bridge and then come in here pick up the other the, the service spare parts that needs to go with the metal and fix this bridge I plan on using both trucks and hauling enough rolled steel to fix both bridges so let's get this thing around the corner In fact, let's get it outside the gate and maybe even down on the ice. I think this is a fine spot to get the two hooked up together. We're gonna just go right up over that big boulder. I kinda need it up over that big boulder to get, to get it off the corner. <laughs> Teeter totter. Look, it's a teeter-totter. Anyways. Let's find... That's the Azov. This could carry four spots. I'm not... I'm just not sure about the traction compared to the Kras Chabors. This I gotta buy an M747. I'm gonna get the chain tire one. I don't know why it took the corner so wide. You know, that shows a, a road going up the hill right there. But according to the map, there's no way across. gonna work right. There we go. I did that last time and it worked okay. I hit C to open it again. Off-road M747.
four slot chain seven four seven there we go I know I could take a five you know a, a six slot or an eight slot or even a ten on this particular map I just don't want to fuck around with the extra drag of a bigger trailer I think probably the regular off-road M747 is lighter than this one. This trailer seems to put put quite the, quite the drag on it. I can't hook up to it. Or put a rope on it. I bet I can now. can't change the can oh the rope hooked up to the grass somewhere can't change the camera view to the rear of the trailer I can't hook up to that truck Can I change to it? Yes. Maybe because it's up on top of the rock like that in such a weird odd position. I got one. I wonder which would be the best tow vehicle. The big monster or this thing?
when I tried this thing out, the crass Chabors, it didn't even slow down for the mud. It just rode right over it. But I wasn't hooked up to a trailer. Starting to go through the gears a little bit. Then it drops back. Rode right over that like it wasn't there. Something but the truck behind me keeps banging for keeps um, Look at the trailer lift off the ground trying to pull that monster. I wonder if it'd be if I'd be better off to put the monster up front. I think I'm gonna try that before I go any further. and the engine's not even running on this with the handbrake on. I didn't apply the handbrake to the other truck. Is that why it was been so hard to pull? Pulling a dead stick with the handbrake on? Now this flatbed utility will haul four spots of cargo. All right, I saw the Kraz respond. Turn on engine on winch truck. Well, I believe it's already running. Must be a new feature for the I don't see any. I'm 
smoke coming from the stacks. God dang it. Engine's running. Now this one died, so I wonder if the other one shut off. Hell, I don't know. Turn off engine. So it must be on now. The way it was, the way it is on the live server, if it's capable, the towed vehicle, if it's capable of running, it will be. It'll follow you, it'll even push you. It'll emulate what the lead vehicle is doing. This is supposed to have ice traction. Oops, what did I do? Did I... yeah, I went the wrong way. Release the winch. Turn around. This thing makes a big wide turn, unless you do a lot of backing up. I'm gonna pull in here. I'm gonna get four rolls. Of. Rolled steel. <laughs> uh. 
Oh boy. This thing needs a lot of room. Let's see, I gotta... I have to fix... Let's escape that. Mm. I need four rolls of steel to fix this bridge. I need four rolls of rolled, rolled steel, I mean, to fix this bridge in order to craft them to, to metal beams. I need two metal beams here, two metal beams there. But now the bridge to the warehouse, I need two service spare parts also, but I can grab those on the way back as long as I have the metal. I can do the metal and go back and get those two service spare parts. Um, but I wanted to fix landslide on the path on the way out. I think I might load up the IX and tow it behind the big truck. That's two wooden planks. That's only three spots. I got a six spot trailer. So once landslide on the path was done, I could basically leave it on the side of the road. Looks like there's another obstruction here. So I could load this on the IX and put all the metal on the two other trucks. We'll start the tracking on this one because that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna fix first. So, as far as cargo management, I want four metal rolls. And then get this thing out of the way. Because that's not the way to do it. Whoop. It bounced me around into the wrong position. Holy crap. All I did was bump that a little. I honestly don't know what we're doing. Um, oh yeah, I said go back around until I can get on this side. Until I can get here. So I want to point it back this way.
and leave it off to the side. And then I want to get the IX loaded up. This thing got here, you know, it's just, I, I took a very crappy way to get here. Because it was the shortest way. I was waiting, going slow and waiting for the tr tr trailer to come into view so I could do this, get it in the right spot, hit cargo management. Um, how much space does this take up? One, two, three. So I could take over a couple extra metal rolls, but I'd have to take the truck all the way to the factory over there. I don't see that being a problem. I could put three extra metal rolls. And then switch to two wooden planks. And you see the some of this shit is numbered. You can only get so much. And then one service spare part. So this thing is loaded up. Extra metal. just because I can and then the wood beams and the spare parts alright now let's get this out of here maybe I can go around to the right Gonna make it hard to hit the gate, but uh, not that bad, I guess. I'll scrape the trailer alongside the container to gain some extra room. how puny that thing looks compared to the other truck. I'm going to have to hook it up and move it ahead to get it out of here.
There we go. Got those two hooked up. As soon as, of course, as soon as I leave them, turn on engine on winch truck. Okay, now it says turn off, so it must have come on. I think I'm going to leave these right here. Well, let's see. I'm not pulling the Kras Chabors. So why don't I just go ahead and take these down the ravine and fix landslide. But first, potty time. I'll be back in a couple minutes. You know, on trucks like this, this Western Star in front of us, you could put a six-spot road train, the unspillable road train trailer behind here, a six-spot road train besides four on the bed, and you could have you could haul 10 spots of stuff but I wasn't thinking of that for this trip because um, I was bringing the Kraz over and I was towing that See by the tire tracks, I turned the wrong way.
there it is. If it wasn't for the rocks, I could haul flat out, but, you know. Snowrunner loves their rocks. The truck behind me will dip in a little bit. But other than that, it should come right across. I don't hear anything, any bands popping. This is definitely the right truck for this map. Just wish it wouldn't bounce so much when you bump into something. Geez, you're barely moving and you bump into a metal post or some junk on the ground and it bounces so much that you're not even going the same direction anymore. I could try the slightly skinnier tire. It looks exactly the same, it's just not quite as wide. Is this, yeah, this is where I go up, 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 and away. Getting two trucks over here for the time it would take one. Now I'm gonna release. the towed vehicle and pull this up out of the way. And then switch to when I can get the mouse to work. Oops, I had it there and closed it. 
This one's not quite up over the top of the hill. The landslide is right there. You know, we're going to use diff lock and low range. Unless it yells at me. And now I'll put it back in. Cargo management. Two wooden planks. And one service spare part. And landslide on the path is done. First job we've completed. I'm going to get this up through here to where I can get the monster truck in front of it again. Some mud. Slow down my wheel spin. No one of these is a good solid tree, but not that one over here. I don't think it hit it. Well, it got on something that's good enough. Cleared away the obstruction, but left plenty of big boulders to have to go over. I suppose it's not going to let me leave it in diff lock when I'm towing it it's gonna get angry Western Star 714 WM E model for extended it's got a longer wheelbase And um, I think I'm going to leave this one right here. I'm at an hour one 
completed one of the three jobs. There's actually four with opening up the tunnel, but I think I'll make this an episode right here. So, thanks for watching, and we'll come back and try to get a couple bridges built. See you next time.